sworn in for his second term on Monday. Today, a Fort Wayne woman told News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers about her trip to the president's first inauguration four years ago. Alyssa, she told me although there's not as much hype around this year's inauguration, it's no less sentimental. This was the view four years ago at President Obama's inauguration. It was awesome. It, it was just um, a once in a lifetime sort of thing. Hi, Barack Hussein Obama. President Obama will be sworn in for his second term Monday morning, but the crowd is expected to be much smaller. Just taking two steps and stopping, and two steps, two steps. It took us from to go seven blocks about uh, two and a half hours. Four years ago, multiple buses of people made the journey from Fort Wayne to Washington, D.C. to witness the historic event. Cynthia McBride made the trip with her sister. To be able to see it with our own eyes, it was, I, I just can't describe, you know, sharing a moment in history like that. Um, a first, um, it, it was just, uh, it just left people speechless. But four years later, many more people are content with just watching it on their televisions. Well, just because it's the second term and, um, you know, the, it doesn't, it's not a show of any less support. It's just that that first time is, is so amazing. McBride said family reasons kept her from going this year, but she's planning on having a watch party with her friends. And she also says it's great that she gets to celebrate this occasion on another important holiday. He um, spoke about all Americans being able to come together as one. And here we have um, elected a president where it took all Americans for him to get into office. It wasn't just one segment of the population. Even though there won't be 1.8 million people there like in 2009, officials are expecting up to 800,000 people to crowd the Capitol. The president will be sworn in for his second term at 11.30 a.m. Monday. You can watch live coverage of the event all day right here on Wayne TV starting at 7 a.m. Aaron Rodgers, News Channel 15.